Well documented, the young lady who uh, is uh, making her college commitment today and uh, what she has done over the past, not only her high school career, but previous to that and uh, uh, been a strong member of the, of the Alton community. Uh, just a couple of uh, I, items that we're going to go over. Uh, when I'm done, we're going to have Coach uh, Terry Mitchell, LaJarvia's high school track coach, speak. And uh, he'll make a few comments, and then uh, LaJarvia herself will, uh, will come uh, to the microphone and, uh, and uh, reveal what we've all been uh, contemplating over the last uh, five, six months. So it's an exciting day, it's a special day, and uh, we look forward to it. Just a uh, introduction uh, purpose in the back of the room, our, our principal, uh, Dr. Russell Tapin, is back there as well as I think I see uh, Mike Gray, assistant principal. I don't know if I'm missing anybody else uh, back there, but uh, this is always a great day and, and we're excited. At the head table, obviously, to the far left is Coach Mitchell. Also next to LaJarvia is uh, uh, Coach Asaki Carr, and a special guest of honor, LaJarvia's cousins here. And uh, she was a little bashful to talk on the microphone, but she's enjoying the spotlight up here. Without any further ado, here's Coach Terry Mitchell to talk about the journey. Uh, good morning. I don't have a whole lot to say other than um, congratulations to this young lady for what she has done throughout her high school career. She has worked hard. As I look around, I see a lot of our other athletes and a lot of our male and female athletes for various sports. I would encourage all of you to keep working hard, make sure that you're in the classroom, when you're in the classroom, that you are thinking academically. Because as colleges look to you, the first thing they're gonna look at is what you're doing in the classroom. Secondly, they're gonna look at the behavior. What type of person are you? Are you dependable? Are you a person who works hard? Are you a person that is trying to persevere? This is what they're looking for as college athletics, as college scholarships. And if you wish to get there, what you've got to do is dedicate yourself as an individual to do the right thing. If you do that, good things can happen from it. Uh, this young lady sitting beside me here, Georgia, I've known her since she was in middle school. And as a middle school athlete, we could see some positive things out of her. Back then, she had a good work ethic. She had goals, and I can't emphasize enough to all of you now, set you some goals. Goals are just like stair steps. If you take it a step at a time, you reach there. But you're not gonna jump from the bottom step to the top step all at once. So think about those things in the future as you try to prepare yourself for high school, beyond high school, or whatever profession it is you're thinking about going to. Uh, this young lady has had a very busy summer. Uh, as you all know, she is already a two-time state champion in the triple jump. She also placed in the 300 hurdles this past season, as well as the long jump, which she's trying to work this upcoming season to improve on those goals as well. As a team, we're looking to improve this year as well. Not only do we want to go up and finish well in the state meet, we'd like to be able to come back with one of those three trophies that they present to the top three teams in the state of Illinois. And in order to do that, we're going to have to have help, which means we're going to have to have other athletes dedicate their time and hard work as well as the job has done. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be here too long. I'm ready to go ahead and finish up. But like I said, this young lady had a very, very busy summer. As most of you have been following in the papers at all know, she went to New Mexico this summer. She went to Cali, Colombia this summer to compete in the Junior Olympics. And then she finished the summer off by going to Norfolk, Virginia, and becoming a two-time national champion in the long jump and the triple jump, which is something that is quite an unbelievable goal and accomplishment. So like I said, at that, Ending, I'll go ahead on and finish up with what I have to say here, but I wish this young lady the greatest. I know she's going to continue to do well because she tries to persevere. I 
And like I said, I can't emphasize enough to all of you sitting here in this auditorium today. Continue to work hard. Improve yourself. Thank you. Okay. LaJarvia would like to have Asaki Carr speak a few words. So, I've had the pleasure of knowing LaJarvia, like Mitch said, um, throughout middle school and then all four years here at high school. And I've been her coach. I've coached for about 11 years now. Um, I've been here for seven, and I've come across a lot, lot, lot of great athletes. There's no doubt about it. But what sets LaJarvia apart from the rest is what she has on the inside. Yes, she's, she's talented. Yes, she does great things. But she's humble also. She's a really good person overall. So if you ever had a chance, well, I know all of you all are here because you know her. But you know how great she is on the inside. And that's what makes me proud to be her coach. I've never had um, to worry about her being in trouble or anything like that just because she's a good person. I think that's why she's so highly sought out, not just because of her talents, but because of her as a person as a whole. So whatever school she decides to go with out of the four we have here, it's not that she would make, or that would make her better, she would make that school better. And so, Lujarvia, stay humble, stay who you are throughout this journey, and good luck. Now we'd like to hear from the uh, star of the hour and uh, make the big reveal here, Miss LaJarvia Brown. Just let y'all know that I will be taking my talents down to South Beach. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go ahead. Okay, you. 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 Okay, I really do appreciate y'all. Y'all looking good out there. <laughs> okay, congratulations. Thank you all for attending. Uh, students, we do have to get back to class, so uh, we'd appreciate that you do that. Uh, media members, I'm sure that you'll want to talk to Lajarvi here for a little while. Have a great day. It's a great day to be a Redbird.